War Diary, day 625 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Dnipro behind me, and that is the left bank of, uh, of the Dnipro. Um, this part of the world, they, they work out which bank the river is from if you're standing at the source, uh, which feels weird to me, but there we are. Uh, and these woods behind me, this was where a year and a half ago I was arrested for being a Russian spy by Vladimchenko. I've been a bit gloomy these last few uh, video diaries because the West has not done enough to help Ukraine. True. But the big picture has to remain is that when you're fighting a war, what matters most of all is not losing the war. And I do not think that Ukraine with all of its courage and the strength and the wit and humanity and intelligence of their people is going to lose this war. Um, I think there's a possibility that the Ukrainians are going to be let down by the West, that's happening, and they're being betrayed by the West's useful idiots, that's happening too. And, and there are at least some people here on this side who are corrupt and not good enough, that's also true. But the big picture remains that I do not think Ukraine will lose this war. Russia, on the other hand, has got a whole series of problems. The first of which is that there is no good reason why any Russian soldier should die because they are invading another country for no good reason. This is a peaceful democracy. As I said on day two of the war, the person who is in most trouble is Vladimir Putin because he has not sold this war to his people and that fact remains true. Yes, the war at the moment, the front line, feels like a stalemate. Uh, that's in part because of mines, in part because of drone technology. It's very hard for either side to move. So, all we can do is support Ukraine as much as possible. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.